In this video, we are going to be talking about slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope, so they're equal. They never intersect. That means they never cross or touch. So parallel lines would be two lines like this. They're going up and down forever. They're never going to cross paths. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. And we're going to talk about what that means. Perpendicular lines do intersect, so they do cross. And when they intersect, they create 90 degree angles. So two perpendicular lines would look something like this, where they create a 90 degree angle. So when we talk about opposite, their slopes being opposite reciprocals, Opposite means change the sign. And reciprocal means flip the fraction. So let's look into that a little bit. If we look at example one over here, it says, what is the opposite reciprocal of each number? So if I begin by looking at two thirds, the opposite reciprocal of two thirds, well, is two thirds positive or negative? It's positive. So the opposite of positive is negative. So that's the opposite part. Now I need to do the reciprocal part. So I need to flip this fraction. So two thirds is gonna become three halves. So the opposite reciprocal of two thirds is negative three over two. This was positive, now it's negative, and then we flipped the fraction. Let's try that again with negative one half. So first we gotta do the opposite. The opposite of negative is positive, and then I gotta flip the fraction, so that's gonna be positive two over one. Well, two over one is the same thing as two. So the opposite reciprocal of negative one half is positive two. And then this last one, this number is four. So opposite of four, um, opposite of positive is negative. And then if it helps you to think about this, this whole number four is like over one. So when I flip that, it becomes one fourth. So if this was positive, now it's negative. And then we flipped the fraction and got negative one fourth. So these are opposite reciprocals of each other. Negative one half is the opposite, opposite reciprocal of two and negative one fourth is the opposite reciprocal of four and negative three halves is the opposite reciprocal of two thirds. Let's look at example two. On example two, it says, what is the slope of the line parallel to y equals 2x plus 1. What form is this equation in? This equation is in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. What letter represents slope in slope intercept form? m. So here it says, what is the, think, what is the slope of this line? So the slope of this line is two. So now we need to think, okay, will the slope be the same? So will the slope be the same or opposite reciprocals? So for parallel lines, are they the same or are they opposite reciprocals? They're the same. So if I want a slope that's parallel to y equals 2x plus 1, and the slope is 2, and the slopes are the same, then their slope will be 2. That is your answer. Let's look at example 3. It says, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 8? So again, this equation right here 
is in slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. To help you answer this question, I've put in these little hints right here to help you. So to figure it out, you need to think, what is the slope of this line right here? Well, you told me earlier that the slope is m, the coefficient of x, so the number in front of x. The number in front of x here is negative 3 fourths. Now that we know what the slope of this line is, now we need to figure out, will the slope of a line perpendicular, so a slope of a line perpendicular, be the same or opposite reciprocals? Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. So what is the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 fourths? Well, the opposite of being negative is being positive. And then I need to flip the fraction. So I'm going to have positive 4 thirds. On example 4, it says, are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? How do you know? So these are kind of easy. Um, they'll be parallel, they'll have the same slope. If they're perpendicular, they'll have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. And if they're not the same and not opposite reciprocals, then they'll be neither. So let's look at example four. We're given two equations and we want to figure out if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Both of these equations are in slope-intercept form. Again, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. The slope is m, the number in front of x. So the number in front of this x is negative 4 fifths. The number, oops, there should be an x here. There will be an x on yours when you get it. Um, the number in front of this x is 5 fourths. So what we need to figure out now are, are these numbers the same? Negative 4 fifths and 5 fourths? No, they're not the same, so can't be parallel. So now we need to figure out, are these two numbers opposite reciprocals? Well, let's take it one word at a time. Opposite means that they're different signs. That is true because this one's negative and this one's positive. Reciprocal means that we flipped the fraction. Four-fifths, five-fourths. That is also true. So these are perpendicular. The question says, how do you know? Oops, don't mean to cross that out. I meant to highlight it. So I can't just write perpendicular. I have to write how I know. I know that they're perpendicular because the slopes are opposite reciprocals. On number five, it says, are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? How do you know? Again, these are both in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Let's find the slope of each line. Slope is the number in front of x. What is the number in front of x here? So there's a negative sign, and so that implies a negative 1. So the slope of this line is negative 1. What's the slope of this line? The slope of this line is also negative 1. So does that make these parallel, perpendicular, or neither? The slopes are the same, so that makes these parallel. Um, because the slopes are the same. 
All right, you go ahead and try number six. On number six, are the slopes parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, let's see. The slope of this first line is negative two. The slope of this bottom line is positive two. Does negative two equal positive two? No, these are two different numbers. This one's negative and this one's positive. So they're not the same, so it can't be parallel. Are these two slopes opposite reciprocals? Well, this one's negative and this one's positive, so that's good so far. Is two the opposite reciprocal of negative two? Well, let's see. If I have negative two over one, if I uh, change the sign and make it positive, and if I flip it, I get positive one half. Well, I don't have positive one half here. I have positive two. So they are not perpendicular. So because this is not parallel and not perpendicular, these ones are neither. The slopes are not the same, nor are they opposite reciprocals.